Are you looking for ways to optimize your AK-47 or 74 rifle? Are you tired of that thin, small European style grip that came on your AK? If that's the case, you don't need to look any further than the US Palm AK Battle Grip. It's a gear tester here and welcome to my review on this excellent product. I've been using the US Palm Battle Grip on my AK Arsenal SLR 104FR for over a year. When I first got my AK, I found that the uh, standard thin grip that it came with, I found that grip lacking. I uh, especially experienced, not difficulties, but discomfort when using the firearm for extended period of times, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, uh, doing shooting at the range or practicing manipulations, I found that when I went to do reloads, in particular, that this thin grip let me down. What the US Palm Grip does is it fills your hand better. And you can see right here very clearly that the swell here uh, at the bottom of the US Palm Grip really does a better job of filling your hand. I've got another battle grip here and still in the packaging. I'm just going to pop it out here and show it to you in terms of the looking at the back of these grips, comparing and contrasting them. You can see here how much thicker the US palm grip is, how much wider it is here, and how that palm swell, that ergonomic palm swell, really fills your hand better. It does a better job of giving you something to hang on to. And that's particularly important when you go to do things like reloads with the AK. Because the AK is a relatively heavy rifle. Okay, it's about seven pounds, a better part of seven pounds. Maybe a little bit more than that. In, in most cases. And when you go to do a reload, your primary hand, for me because I'm right-handed, uh, my right hand tends to carry all that weight when I go to do a reload because I do rest the buttstock either against my chest or the inner portion of my right arm. When I go to do a reload, I get the old magazine out, I put the new magazine in, and then I just would run the bolt, okay? And for the majority of that time, my hand, my right hand, is completely supporting this rifle. And what I found is that when I did that a number of times with the standard grip, I just found that it was more uncomfortable. The US Palm fixes that problem. The US Palm AK Battle Grip fixes that problem. I've in, I installed it a year ago. Uh, when you purchase it, it comes with all the little tools, not all the tools, but all the little accoutrements that you need to install it. So it comes with a washer, okay, it comes with a lock washer, it comes with the screw which you're going to use. <clears throat> I chose to use Loctite. There's no reason to not do that. It's not something you're taking on and off. And I liked it so much I knew that it was going to stay on the gun. So it comes with those. Now you will need a, at least the way mine came, you will need a 3 16 socket head. You do not need some other specialty tools, okay? Uh, just a standard adjustable screwdriver will fit right in there and allow you to crank it and tighten it up. You don't need some kind of an extended um, bit or, or extended driver. Just a standard one will work just fine. That's nice. It's uh, annoying to get a product to bolt onto a firearm and then learn that you need some kind of specialty tool. That's a pain to deal with. Now, there is one thing uh, about the US Palm Grip that I worry a little bit about, and that's why I made sure to have the lock washer on there and I made sure to lock tight it, because if this comes loose, it's not gonna be easy. I, I don't know about you, but I don't run around with one of these adjustable screwdrivers and all the little bits that I might possibly need in my gear. I do run it in my range bag, uh, but my range bag might not be really close to me or nearby if the grip became loose. That is one area that I think the standard grip or the, 
the European style grip or the traditional grip that comes on a case where the traditional grip does a better job. It's got a longer screw that fits all the way through and you could easily tighten it if you just had a Leatherman or if you were simply running the standard kit, a cleaning kit that comes in the back or should be in the back of your AK, you could literally just tighten it up here with the tool that they have. Especially if you wanted to really make sure that you could get it tight, you would just run it through like so and then you'd be able to really crank down on your grip. So just make sure that you use Loctite. Mine has not come loose at all. I think that probably with the lock washer you'd be good to go. But that is one thing that I worry about when I think about this US Palm grip. I do think that there is maybe a, a functional reason for the way the standard AK grip is manufactured. But AR-15 grips are manufactured this way and I haven't had a problem with those. And I think that as long as you use the Loctite and are careful, and if you checked it before you head out. Now I have modified my US Palm Grip ever so slightly. I did some stippling on it and I'll show you why here. This is the way the US Palm Battle Grip comes. They offer them in a number of different colors, a brown, a, a Bakelite kind of red. This is their flat dark earth black, okay? Those are the colors they offer them. But they all come here. You see how this is very smooth here on the back and on the side of the, the front here, okay? The side, you can see the US Palm logo really nicely there. It's kind of a cool logo, that palm tree. And you know, US Palm products are made in the USA. And I like supporting American uh, businesses that manufacture products in the US. But I did stipple the, the back and the front there, as you can see here on my AK, okay? And that's not a problem. That wasn't hard to do. I just used my uh, soldering iron. And uh, then I used a little bit of sandpaper. I got a little too aggressive. Just removed a little bit of the ridges so that it would not be as aggressive as I had gotten it. But, you know, I've been very happy with US Palm. I think that the battle grip, I think that it fixes uh, a simple um, ergonomic issue. Uh, that the smaller traditional grip has. It's not a bad grip. You know, these are used all over the world and have been for many, many years. But I think that the US Palm offers benefits uh, that are totally, totally worth the $25 they'll end up paying uh, for your grip. Now, I paid $25 because when I purchased this, I got the US Palm grip that does not have the water resistant compartment sealed with a rubber trap door. You can see that there. I didn't get that. That I purchased these from Midway USA and they came a little bit cheaper, around the $25 mark because they didn't have that trap door. Um, and that didn't bother me at all. So you may want to consider that. And if that's really important to you that you have that little ceiling trap door there, uh, then make sure that you're purchasing the one that comes with it. The US Palm Battle Grip comes highly recommended from me, the gear tester. It allows better operation and manipulation of the firearm when you're doing reloads and it's just simply more comfortable because it is more ergonomic. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. If you're interested in more information about this Arsenal SLR-104FR, I have a playlist dedicated to this rifle. In that playlist. There are range reports on this rifle. There is initial impressions video and those videos contain more shooting and a more of my personal experience and my feelings on this excellent, excellent rifle chambered in 5.45 by 39. I'll be adding my review of the US Palm Battle Grip to that playlist. I already have a review on my Krebs Custom Safety here. And I've got an install video of that where I talk about my preference of this safety, which allows me to use my finger or to operate the safety in a more traditional manner. I am working currently on reviews on this excellent Krebs Custom Aperture Sight or Peep Sight, as well as a video and review on this Ultimac AK Rail. So if those things interest you, either the rifle or those different components which could be added to your AK-74 or 47 rifle, then I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off.